Hi, this is Suzanne from SL Crafts and today I'm going to show you how to assemble one of my new pumpkin teapot boxes. Perfect for Halloween treats. You'll find the link for these in the description below. But as you can see, they all have different faces and they all come with different names as well. So let's get started. For this box I'm using this pumpkin orange cardstock from Tonic Studios. Okay, so once you've cut all your pieces out, you need to start by folding all of these score lines. Just be careful on these two here as the cutout edge is very close to the score lines. Now if you start with this cutout tab first, then it's a lot easier to get it into position. Just apply some glue and then line it up carefully so that none of the tab is showing through to the front. Then just carry on working your way around the next four tabs. So you'll end up with just this one still open on the right hand side. Next you need to glue the face panel. and stick it inside the teapot like this, making sure that there's an even amount of yellow showing through. You could also cut out an extra orange face panel if you want to cover this up. You can now ink all of the edges with brown ink if you wish, just to give it a nice textured bustic look. Just working your way around all of those edges. Next you need to take the two handles and you need to glue these back to back. Then fold those two tabs towards you. And then glue the tabs to the inside of that last open side. and then glue the last tab into place. Once you've done that, you then need to take the spout piece and then glue that long tab to the inside, like this. And then bend the curved base outward slightly. And then you're going to glue the base to the teapot. Just take some time to line it up carefully so that it looks good from the front, the side and from the top. Now 
Okay, so for the lid, I've already gone ahead and inked the edges here. So starting from this left hand side, you need to overlap each of the six flaps like this, all the way to the end, just tucking that last one in, and then glue that tab into place to secure it. Just make sure that it all meets up nicely in the center. Then you can apply a little bit of glue just in the middle there, just to hold it in place. Now for the rose on top of the lid, you need to start rolling it from this outside point. Using a pair of tweezers helps here. Just keep rolling it round until you get to the other end. Then apply lots of glue, especially to the inside, and then hold it in place until it dries. I find that pushing the end of a pencil into it helps to hold it in place. Then once that's dry, you can, you can add a little bit of brown ink to it if you wish. And then glue it to the lid. For the leaf, you need to fold it into shape like this. So it's sort of like a concertina shape. Then you can add a little bit of ink to those fold lines and then glue it just under the rose. tucking it under there. Now for a finishing touch, you can add a few tendrils. So by cutting out two thin strips of cardstock, these are about nine centimeters long, and you can wrap them around the nib of a pencil and then glue them to the base of the rose. And once that's dry, your little pumpkin teapot box is finished. Now you can make lots of them and fill them up with candy. Or if you pop a battery operated tea light inside, then they will light up to give you an impressive jack-o'-lantern display. Just remember to only use a battery operated tea light inside it though, not one with a real flame. And there they are, a set of six little pumpkin teapot boxes.